Hello friends, welcome to my channel. You are watching SCOM Quick Lab Setup. I have just started to create a video on SCOM Quick Lab Setup. In this video series, we are going to set up a lab for SCOM that is a product of Microsoft and it, is, it comes with System Center Suite. So we are going to learn how to set up lab for SCOM. This is our monitoring tool if you don't know. So in monitoring tool, we monitor our infrastructure to minimize the downtime. We can't neglect but we can minimize the downtime of our IT infrastructure. We need these type of tools. There are many tools from different different vendors like HP, IBM, CA. So in this video, I will show you the architecture, how I am going to build the SCOM lab. And it is very quick setup, so you don't need much time. I think uh, maximum four hours. In four hours, you will able to set up your own lab. So let's start with the architecture. Here we have three servers, SCOM DC1, SQL Server and SCOM Server. These are the names of three server. I have installed Windows 2012 standard edition. SCOM DC1 is domain controller, active directory and DNS. SCOM DC1 has these things. And on SQL server, I have installed SQL server 2012 and the default instance is MS SQL server. And on SCOM server, I have installed management server and operation console only. Actually, there are four features of SCOM server when you install SCOM. Management server, operation console, web console and reporting server. But for now, we are just installing management server, operations console only. Management server is responsible for managing our infrastructure means you can say everything is done by management server okay and the operation console is it provides us GUI to manage this management server and for web console it is a web console you can log in with web browser on management server but for administration it is not recommended because it not provide everything means every options of operation console it only has monitoring and reporting tab on web console and the fourth is reporting server it is used for reporting means if you want to generate any report using our historical historical database that we can do from reporting server so this is scom infrastructure and i am going to use this domain scomlab.in and when we will install active directory we have to use this domain smartlab.in and then we will connect all the servers in our environment to this domain smartlab.in we are going to install these two clients and add to the smartlab.in in future we are going to install these server 1 and server 2 but now we, we are not going to do this in lab setup we are going to install windows 7 client machines in organization we are not going to monitor these desktops but in lab to learn the scom we are going to monitor these clients and uh, after that we are going to add these servers also so we will understand how to monitor servers also okay so this is the organization infra means uh, if we think about the organization we have we have many servers in our infrastructure and uh, if we think about organization infra, these SCOM DC1 and SQL server also comes into the uh, organization infra. But actually for uh, SCOM, we need these three servers to run. From next video, we are going to start with virtual box. And we are going to install these three servers. Actually, it is a quick lab. So, so I am going to clone this SCOM DC1 and create sql server and scom server so it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to each but if you're going to install scom dc on first time then it will take about half an hour 
okay so by using clone we are going to minimize that time and we are going to same thing with this but i'm not going to show you this installation windows 7 installation okay you have to do it uh, yourself the process is same with the client also so you can do it by yourself okay so let's jump to the next video that is how to create virtual machines okay thank you friends